All right, David Can here uh, with another question from section 5.3. We're going to be looking at determining the internal resistance experimentally. We have a circuit below. It was used to collect data on the internal resistance, little r, of the battery in the circuit shown here. So we have a EMF source and an internal resistance, and all of this would be part of the battery. A variable resistor, capital R, was varied, and the resulting change in current was measured. The data is plotted here. So we change the value of the variable resistor, capital R, and as a result, we measured different currents. On this axis, we don't have the current plotted, though. We have the EMF divided by the current plotted, and that was done to linearize the trend. The reason we linearized the trend was because we can now use the linear trend to determine the internal resistance of the cell, little r. So to do that, we'll turn to Ohm's law, which tells us that V equals I r. This is the voltage generated by the EMF. This is the current through the single path. And this is the total equivalent resistance of the circuit. In this case, the voltage generated is E. I is the current. And R is the sum of the variable resistor, capital R, and the internal resistance, little r. So R is really the two R's together, because it's a series circuit, these two resistances. Now what I want to do is, is I want to rearrange this so that it's linearized, so that it matches what I expect in this equation. I want E over I on the y-axis, and R on the x-axis. So I'll divide by I to get E on I. And now what I have is a linearized form. Y equals M X plus C. Y is E on I, X is R, M is one, the slope should be one, and R, the internal resistance, should be the Y intercept. So this allows me to say, therefore, R is equal to the y-intercept of the graph, which is 100. Uh, 100 ohms.